What up, peep? Today's Sunday, my day off from work. I thought I'd make a little vlog. Maybe it will be a little longer. Let's see. Whatever happened, happened. Murphy's Law. I just uh, cleaned my backyard. So you can uh, go with me around to my backyard a little bit. This is what I do on a Sunday when I have a little bit of time and the weather plays along. I'm just doing my backyard, cleaning up, looking for some snakes. Sometimes I have a couple of cobras here. Um, I haven't seen a cobra in a, in a while, so I'm actually really, really happy. Uh, but I always check. What was that? Oh, there was a gecko. Okay. So this is, of course, a paradise for snakes. And I just figured that I, my cat, she hide it. The little cats, the little baby cats, right here, look at this. Hey, bitch. How you doing? How many babies you got there? Yeah, 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 yeah. How many? Four? Oh, my God. What I'm going to do with them? What you got here? Man. <sighs> Thai cats. Unbelievable. You know, they just got the baby, a week later they got another baby, a week later... Uh, they're just fucking around, you know, they drive me crazy, these cats. Should I sterilize them? Nah, not really. I would not like if somebody cut me my balls off or whatsoever. Uh, I got another cat right there, look at this. It's too hot today again. Yo! How you doing? How you doing, Snooker? <laughs> yeah, Sunday. Everybody's sleeping. Everybody's lazy. Uh, yeah, what I thought is, uh, like I said already, I am going to make a little vlog today. Nothing special. Uh, first of all, a cigarette. Look at those pictures. I, I do believe this is a Thai person. <coughs> So it doesn't affect me. So that's why I keep smoking. <laughs> anyway, a cigarette, a coffee, my camera, my computer, my glasses, and I thought I'm going to do a little Q&A for you guys. Question and answer. You got a couple of questions? I will give you some answers. Um, well, first of all, let me say that uh, from time to time, I'm, I'm reading all your comments on my YouTube channel and uh, it really amuses me and it really surprised me. It makes me cry, it makes me laugh. Uh, sometimes I think about it, why, why would he write something like that? And all those kind of things. So let's get a little bit through it. So it's actually, for example, uh, never argue with a Thai woman. I mean, everybody of you guys have seen that movie probably. If not, watch it. It's, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's what really happened day per day in Thailand, man versus woman, foreigner versus Thai. If you live in a relationship, if you're with a hooker, it's not like that. It's hooker, if you're with a hooker for a day or two or three, it's only like this. Mm, oh, that is so nice, beautiful. But if you live in a relationship, totally different. Uh, totally different. It's like, it's like everywhere else in the world, you know. It doesn't matter if she's Thai or if she is... Uh, foreign or from the moon or I don't know you know a woman is a woman I'm a man we don't understand women that, that's not possible it's just simple as that okay so anyway foreigner versus Thai never argue with a Thai woman the first part I have a guy who more or less insult my girl which I, I don't care you know you can insult my girl as much as you want if you don't like it if you don't like my vlog and if you don't like what I got to say you know don't subscribe just leave it don't bitch around just leave me you know I mean talking calling my wife a lady boy like he Michael Nayuba you can read it by yourself what the fuck is that you should write never aga with a Thai lady boy or Mr. Wayne Carter you should give that lady boy a taste of the back of your hand Mr. Wayne Carter. You see, you're not that important. I forgot already your name, even if I just mentioned it. Mr. Carter. I really like to see you coming to Thailand 
and slap a lady boy with the back of your hand. Show me that. Videotape that. Post it on, on, on YouTube. You probably got 10 million clicks on that. Maybe you make some money with it. But this money you make on YouTube is probably not enough to pay the, uh, the hospital bill. Because they would probably almost beat you to death if you slap a Thai person, woman, lady boy or man. Wow, I really like to see that. I mean, you know, having a big mouth, it's one thing. Showing it re show me that in real, that's a totally different thing. Everybody can bitch around by hiding behind the computer, you know? Uh, that's not being tough. If you're really that tough, come to Thailand, make it, and you'll see what happens. You will get your lessons very, very well, okay? You learn it the hard way. I give you my word on that. You, nobody, not you, not me, nobody hit without being penalized. You never hit a Thai person. And if you do, so nam na, very stupid, okay? So, um, I, of course, I like uh, also the uh, another guy, Paulie Wee. Paulie, he write to my, about my wife, Katoy. Okay, let's see what else. I mean, wow, a, a lot of people, they, they like it. This is hilarious. Uh, very nice. I, I love it. I would have kicked her ass out of the car. Mm, Jimmy, all right, Jimmy Berry. You would have kicked my wife. Well, yeah, sure. Okay. Anyway, um, I got another another thing here which I like to talk about. There was a guy, he wrote on Thailand Info, Sunny Thailand Vlog number 11, that's the one where I talk about the Thai girls, you will see, Mr. Roy Mortimer. He wrote five hours ago, ice cold, thumbs him up, Paul. You could, pa, 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 hmm? oh, hold on a second. Hey, don't stay in my way, come on, I'm, yeah, stop sitting around here. Ah, here, ice cold, sum them up, pal. Could have done with your advice 18 years ago, but love struck. Would, wouldn't have listened anyway. And that's exactly the point. Roy, you're so right. We don't listen, you know, people don't listen. People just think when they come to Thailand, they all fall in love with the wrong, probably the wrong girl, not all of them, but like I always say, 95% of the people when they come to Thailand, they, sooner or later they're gonna fall in love with the woman and uh, what advice you got before, it's gone. You don't listen anymore, you don't think anymore, it's, it's gone, it's all vanished, you know? So like you said, we, w we won't listen. <laughs> I learned it the hard way too, you know? So maybe one day, <coughs> Sorry, one day I'm going to make a vlog about my earlier life in Thailand and I'm not the kind of guy who really actually likes to talk about his past. Um, I'm, a, I'm a guy who lives right now, not in the past, I can't change the past. I can give some advice about my mistakes and I hope or I wish you don't do the same like I did, but you will do it anyway. So or so, you will, you will fall into that rabbit hole, okay? Okay, what else do I got? Um, I got... Oh, this is a nice guy. Luke Trek, GM. Great advice and story. Congratulations on winning your wife. Thank you very much. Um, oh, here, yeah, wait, there was, there was one. Uh, where is it? Uh, great advice. Blah, 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 blah. Where is this one, one girl? He said something very funny, which is really cool. If I could find it now, you know. You see, I don't prepare anything. I don't write anything. I like to read the script. No, I just this is more or less life. I will cut it a little bit later. But um, where is that woman? Where is that woman? Yeah, Robert Ward. I don't agree with that. It's, yeah, good girls don't go in bars. Only bad ones, like your video, Sunny. Well, not really. You can also find good girls in bars. You know, they're not all bad. Maybe I have to make another vlog and get more into details. Hello, Sunny. Where is your restaurant? Maybe I would love to visit. 
Yeah, maybe I will tell you where it is then, okay? Um. Okay, this good. Sunny, uh, you should buy a micro for the GoPro. Would be able to help with the audio. Yes. I tried so bad to find a nice little microphone for my GoPro camera. It is not possible. I mean, they have all all equipment. For, I mean, everything. I got so many shit here. Everything GoPro, 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 GoPro. I have now three GoPros already, and uh, I did not found one microphone yet. As soon as I find one, I will be really, really happy to have one, because sometimes the sound really pisses me off too. It's the only bad thing about the GoPro, especially when it's so noisy outside. I mean, I really like to focus more on my on my, on my my voice when I edit uh, the videos, but it is, it, I will find a solution, okay? Sooner or later, I just came back making movies again, so that will be my next step. I will buy, or I will find a solution to get a better sound for the videos, okay? So, um, what else? Uh, we got, ah, where is it? Amen, blah, blah, blah. My God, where is it now? Where is it now? Wait on a story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Where is it again? Oh, okay, I make it a cap. Jesus Christ, I cannot find it anyway. I got so many videos online. Where the heck is that now? God damn it! Where is it? Eh, okay. What is it though? Okay, I, I found it. Bi girl wrote, Western women always argue with white men and act like horse. Thai women are submissive and pure. This is a fake video. So she talk about my never argue in Thai women. I tell you one thing. Miss, uh, what was the name? Forgot. This is not a fake video. This is exactly what happened when I am with my wife in the car. Not always like that, but that was at that time I had the camera rolling and I was like, come on, I just film us a little bit. Maybe something happened and it happened. And this is exactly what happened that day. Okay, there's nothing fake and hey, the Western woman, I don't think Western women are horse. I don't think Thai people, Thai women are horse, you know. If you think so, well, I'll go back to school, you know. Uh, or, I don't know. I don't think so, you know. And Thai women are submissive? <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't seen one yet. In 15 years? Not one. It's the beginning. Yeah, they're so nice. And also, they're really good actors. And they are well-behaved people. When you go out in public, you know, they're very kind and very humble. But if you say something in public, that they never argue with you in public. At home. With massive? No. Totally wrong. Anyway, that's your opinion. I'll tell you what really happened. That's my opinion. Take it or leave it. Um, many, many. I don't know. What, what else can I, can I talk about? I mean... I don't know. There's so many, many good reviews. I thank you for all the good reviews, okay, and and feedback. So, like I said, sometimes when somebody getting too personal and calling me an asshole or calling me a, you're an asshole or you're a dick or blah blah blah, your wife is a hooker and you are not different, you know, I just delete them. I block them from my channel. It's not. It's not like I cannot handle um, the the bad feedback. It's not like that, but I'm not, I didn't came to Thailand or I didn't open this lock to get negative comments. I tried to give some positive advices, some positive things about life, you know, in Thailand. I don't need this crap comments from you guys, you know, bitching around is, is not the answer uh, to my videos. I mean, you can write it, that will be deleted. You can say I'm an idiot and then tell me why. I will not delete that, okay? But don't say he's an idiot because he is so stupid to fall in love with the hooker she's the hooker she's not different you know nothing about me you know nothing about uh, my wife you know only what you see right here and that is what I'm going to feed you okay so up to you write something nice would be really appreciated 
Um, I really mean it. I appreciate your nice comments. I really don't like when you insult my wife or getting personal. That is not the way I really like to live and like to share my videos, especially not with those guys, okay? Anyway, so more questions and answers. I'm not in the mood actually um, to, to more and more and more and more. I mean, I don't like to read all the comments right now. It's a Sunday. I, I rather like to talk about uh, what, what is really important. I would like to give some advices again. My opinion, my advice. I talked about it a couple of days ago, I think the first vlog, that I'm going to make another vlog about the red light, you know, the intersections in Thailand. And uh, seriously, I'm not lying. Yesterday after yesterday night when we closed our restaurant, um, we just drove home and, I don't know, 150 meters from our restaurant there is this uh, intersection and the guy died. I didn't hear the accident, I just saw the guy with uh, a lot of people and the guy, uh, Thai guy, uh, laid on the, on, the, on, the, on the street and in dead. He was dead. Head open, don't want to get into detail, and I turned my stomach and I felt so bad and I felt the urge to really do this vlog today as well to explain you guys again, please, in Thailand, when you drive a car or a bicycle or a a motorbike. First of all, wear a helmet. I know it is not easy. Even me, I'm not driving always wearing a helmet. This is stupid. And see, I never learn also. Sometimes it's just uncomfortable, it's hot. But as more and as longer as I live here, as, as more accidents I see, I really think like, is it really worth for this two minutes of freedom having feeling the wind in your hair uh, risking your life? No, it isn't. No, definitely not. And I saw I just have the picture in, in front of me right now and I saw this poor guy dead again. Poor, uh, his own fault, whatever. He's dead, you know. I, I will never talk uh, something bad about uh, the guy who is dead right now. He cannot defend himself. <clears throat> but definitely he didn't wear a helmet. So what happened was it was a hit and run. He was at the red light and the night was at the red light. Um, he had a green face so he could drive. So probably he came from far away. So it's green and he accelerates. You know Thai people, foreigners, everybody sometimes do this. Oh it's green, okay come on let's go quickly. 12 seconds, 10 seconds, 8 seconds. And he did that, and at the same moment, the other guy got a red light. But they don't care about red light. They thought, oh, it's in the night. Nobody's there anyway. <laughs> Bong. Dead. The guy who hit him had probably nothing because he left the scene. So they're looking for him. But the other guy's dead. My wife, when she goes shopping, sometimes in Kamala, we forgot something. We need a little bit more milk or whatsoever. She take also the bicycle and get just from my restaurant to the next Lotus or 7-Eleven just to buy a milk. But you have to go to an intersection. And many times, I think in the last month, two times, she got almost hit by a car. She got the green light, she waited green, she oh, accelerated and wow, like this. She came home, she was crying. She said, like, she was shaking, I almost died right now. I said, what happened, what happened, what happened? Yeah, you know, I got the green light stuck and I thought like, okay. I, I know this for myself. Uh, I thought, okay, I'm going to make a little, little video about that. So, um, I took my camera. I stopped only in one, at, at one place right now. I, I'm not in the mood to go to every red light now and wait like uh, 10 minutes in the heat or in the evening and film it. You will understand what I mean when you see the video right now I just shot. So I took four or five scenes. Uh, green light, red light, green light, red light, and red light, and they still keep driving. They still keep driving. And if you are in the position to wait with your motorbike, you know, and you have no time for them, ah, come on, come on, let's go. You wait uh, till the green light comes, and you see it's getting red. What then, you know, green, yellow, red, yellow. Okay, you, you, you could be there because they keep at least two, three, four cars. They keep driving even if it's red for them already. So please take this advice. If you are in a motorbike or in a car and you got the green light on an intersection, a 
whatsoever. Go step per step. Think like it is still praying for them. So that's what I do. So I drive, it's praying for me. I look right. I, I really so slow. I left, I right, I left, I right. And then I go. Many times I've seen it happen and it could happen at any moment to you. So please, please, please protect your life. Don't be foolish. Don't drive like crazy. As you've as you seen before in the video I just posted yesterday, I think, the guy with the big bike, they do the same crap. Especially on the red light. Maybe I will do also a vlog and, and be like, this is how an asshole looks like in Thailand. I thought the idea sounds good. But then again, I don't want to insult too much people. Maybe I just blur their faces or whatever. But I, I will show you also a vlog. I make a vlog soon. I don't know when, but soon. I'm just filming people, how they behave in town, especially at uh, when the sunset starts or before the sunset, when they're coming from Lansing Beach on the red lights, all the guys, no t-shirts, flip-flops, no helmet, ah, big bike, especially French uh, Arabs, sorry, but the French Arabs are very, very famous for that, young Italians as well, uh, big bikes, and they're making wheelies and all this kind of crap, just to impress a hooker or I don't know his friends for a couple of seconds and they risk their life don't do it that's all I wanted to say so to show you that this really happened check this out right now I'm going to bring a couple of clips four or five clips about the red light in Thailand check this out Not enough okay I will show you more but this time what you see right now um, if it's not filmed by myself I just found this on the internet on YouTube so this is Thailand undercover and uh, maybe if you like I will give them all the credits so what you're going to see right now is not filmed by me but it will blow your mind uh, it's a it's a YouTube channel it's called Thailand undercover it's not a friend of mine I hope he will not be angry at me that I'm going to use a little bit of his footage uh, right now in my vlog. I, I, I will give him all the credits. There is no... I don't want to infringe anything. The, the, the footage right now, I don't have any copyright of that, okay? So please, if you watch that Mr. Thailand Undercover, please allow me to do that. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I think it's for the, for the sake of, uh, of, of saving people. And... Uh, yeah, have a look at this from Thailand Undercover. Check his YouTube channel out. I will do a description, uh, a link to his uh, um, YouTube uh, page as well, okay? Well, check it out. Here we go. So, what do you think? Frustrating? Scaring? It's the truth. It's the daily life in Thailand. 
a daily life in Thailand. So next time you come to Thailand, or even you live in Thailand and watch my vlog, be careful. You have only one life. Enjoy your life, okay? Don't enjoy it in a wheelchair. Don't enjoy it uh, handicapped whatsoever. You know what I mean? Man, just be safe. Be safe out, out, out there, you know? Just be, be safe. I really want you to, to, to think about it for a second next time you ride a bike without a helmet. Me too. I would promise myself, not to you or to my wife, to myself that I at least try to put the, the helmet right here, you know. It's, it's actually so, so stupid what I'm doing right now. I'm giving you a good advice, but I don't follow my own advice. Like I said, sometimes it's so hard and it's so cool to drive without the helmet. But after I see all this accident, I really consider like wearing one. I'm <coughs> sorry. Um, yeah, it's not worth dying for. So I hope you liked my vlog today. If, you, if so, please subscribe, share, talk about me. And uh, oh, one more thing. Um, as I got right now the thousand subscribers, I passed thousand subscribers. Um, YouTube just uh, wrote me an email and asked me if I like to monetize my uh, my videos. And of course, I would love to make a little bit of money on my on my videos. So. Don't be surprised, don't be pissed if you see now from time to time or on the videos a little advertising. Uh, just, you know, I need to like, make a little bit of money too. I need to buy some new cameras, I need to buy a microphone, you know, and all this kind of things. Don't ask you for support, so this is the only support. Just let it be, okay? Thank you very much for, for joining me today. I will do two vlogs next week. Um, like I promised, two vlogs a week. And, uh, I hope I can keep my promise, I think so. I'm in the mood, you know. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day, stay sexy, and don't leave me. Bye, see ya.